my name is K-Pad, and welcome to another episode of Amnesia the Dark Descent. I'm still with friend Golly. I've played this for 40 minutes at <laughs> 10 at night, and I shouldn't be doing this because I am prone to nightmares. And I just ran out of oil! She's laughing yeah. at me. It's gonna get real dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, have fun navigating through that. Fudge you. <laughs> Are you serious? I could have just jumped up there. I could have cheated. <clears throat> Not that dark. Yeah. I'm still. I'm still gonna go slowly and saint. August 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Well, that was lovely. I'm gonna light this, stare at it, and I'm gonna pause it real quick. Anyway, I was looking for something. But... I do something. Okay, let's go die. I just fell into the water and I'm running across it now. Whee! Is that ever? Is, did I get everything? Eating my bowman, I went the wrong way. Time to jump down. Let's run across water. I went the wrong way. I need to light something. Keep running. Keep running. Keep go. Daniel, go. And stare at the light. Cause I am somehow still crystal clear. I am not insane. Let's go. I need oil. That's the main thing. Don't fall. Rule number one of this game. Don't fall. Oh god. No. <gasps> I can't hear you, Ferngully. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> the morgue. Yep. <laughs> Death. I just entered. I am dead. Lots of dead naked guys. Teleported naked guys? Yes. You're gonna hear me squeak. <laughs> what was that? My imitation of a chihuahua. No. <laughs> no, that's what happens. That sound is what happens when I get poked. Voices! Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. I cannot see. The shadow. It has for now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Finally found a candle. <laughs> Because I am somehow still perfectly sane. Oh god, this is the really fucked up one. What? Language, Ugh. Fern Gully. Language. Effed up. I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, it's just really, um, just, no. That's a penis. Is. Oh, no, look at blood! There's something really screwed up about this room. Oh, look. Penises. Oh, I'm not looking at it. I'm stuck. Breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? The thing is, who is talking to me in my head? That's the thing. I'll touch that later. Tenderbox. <clears throat> Note. Do you see... <laughs> what? What do I see? Did you see a dead body on a Table thing? with a whole bunch of scissors and saws? Yeah, I'm in that room you right have, now. You have to do something to him. I gotta cut it open, don't I? You have to drill a hole in his head. Ugh. And... You can't see my face, but I'm making a disgusted face. Hold on, I'm reading a note. <laughs> Pause and read! That's fudged up. Okay, let's touch this thing. Woo! I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. Sorry, he is he is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this is the end? My love, I I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? With what Sorry, what cruel irony that I have to do un unto him. What Ag Agrippa, I think, did unto me. Okay then. Sorcery. Uh, I gotta do stuff. Oh wait, I have a drill. Yeah. I have to drill his head. Yeah. Oh! The sound, right? Ugh. Oh, my drill broke. Yeah. Now you have to find pieces for, like, to siphon the blood out of his head. I can't use my glass jar? You can use, um, a needle. Like, that little white needle thing. Uh, and then oh! you've got to find a tube. Okay. Oh, the hollow needle. N yeah, another, hollow. another note. Pause and read. Okay. Anyway, Fergilly said I have to stick this needle in his head. You have to find a rod for, like, a tube, and then um, you have to stick them together. Is it in this room? Or do I have to go in the room that's... Whoa! It's, I think, in the other room. Um, no. I'm done. Goodbye. I opened a room and there was just a whole bunch of naked bodies. More oh, naked bodies! It's, it's one of the rooms. Damn it! So that's what these boxes are used for. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't want to do that. I don't want to look at these guys. I don't want to look at these! I'm going insane by looking at these- oh, there's one in the furnace. I'm gonna go insane if I look at these any longer. Where is it in the room? Frangeli? It's in one of the rooms. I don't know which one. Uh, I don't want to go in them. They're disturbing and if, I'm just gonna go insane if I look at them. This guy's slowly losing blood. I'm gonna give you a little light. <laughs> Whoa. Thought I was floating on something for a second there. I don't know what I'm doing right now. But I gotta end this. So thank you all for watching. I'm gonna look at this and like, favorite, subscribe. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. And I don't know about her, but bye. bye. <laughs>